Hello friends. I have thoughts, lots of them. And I just thought I would share some of them with y'all. It's something that I've, I sat down and I just started having all these thoughts. One of my thoughts is I need to do something to make sure this little edge here doesn't come up. But that's really not the important thought. The big thought is to 12 by 12 or not to 12 by 12. That is the question to do a 12 by 12 scrapbook layout or to put it in a eight by, well, technically it is eight by 12, but it's really eight by six junk journal, right? What, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? I have watched, okay, so this weekend, um, I kind of was not feeling well at all. I've had this cold for a week. It's starting to really go away finally, thank goodness, because we're going on vacation. And um, anyway, but I sat and I looked at, let me show you what I looked at for, in fact, I'll, I'll turn it over because this is basically what I looked at. This piece of paper for hours. And I watched hours and hours of junk journaling on YouTube to try to get my head wrapped around what I wanted to do with this. Now, and this is what I did. Boy, did it take, I mean, it literally took me all weekend to come up with this. That's silly, right? Because that's easy. But it wasn't how to decorate the front. It was what do I want to use this little thing for? And I ended up coming up with... Um, I printed up, okay, so I printed up a thing um, out, off of Facebook, actually. It was uh, something that happened, like, five years ago. Let's see. Yes, five years ago. I wrote this down on Facebook, and I thought, that's what I want to do with this little spot here, is to um, focus on what I had written there and then try to show it in an artistic way. And anyway, so, and I did cut this and I inked that and I actually did do a little video on that. I just barely made a little snip and I thought, you know what? I should record this. So what I did is I you know, put this in and snipped it. And so if I had a round one, that would have been better, but I don't. Now I'm pulling out my ground espresso because you just, you gotta, you gotta ink it, right? I mean, it's, it's like a must do. This is so not the best way to do it. Oh, and that doesn't look nice and round, but I am going to embrace it because this was definitely an afterthought. I might have to get a round punch. Oh, see, I'm pulling on this, and now the glue is coming up, so I'm gonna have to glue that down again. So I'll find my glue, glue this down. I'll show you something else that I did, and I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do with it next. I know I've said this before. I love this little glue thing. This little this little needle nose here. Oh my gosh, it's like the best little invention for glue ever. So So crooked as it is, it'll be fine. One thing that I did is I did use the word collect. Um these are little dies. Okay, so and this is called specimen. And he's got these words. Tim Holtz has these words. So here's the word collect. So if you stick it on your paper and you run it through your Sizzix, then it punches out like that. You can save the little itty bitty letters I never have. Or you can do as I do and, and use it like that. And I think for the words to show up a little better, I think I am going to ink. Okay, 
you see that? No. Let me move my book out of the way. All right. I was listening to Brie on, what is it? 1134 Press. I think that's what her, her site is called. One of the things that she said is that we, as she calls us archivists, but as, oh, I guess we're doing a little bit of that, as uh, collectors, as, you know, people who want to preserve memories, whether it's, you know, just for temporary or whether it's for a long period of time that uh, we, we do it, we, we collect the mundane. Oh, see, look at that. That looks so much better, doesn't it? We collect the mundane as well as the important. We are, are, we are keepers of memory. We are memory keepers. We are the ones who want to pass this on to those who come after us, I guess. Um, and again, it could just be so that people know what makes us tick. This my art into the unknown. Somebody might say, "Well, why would they move from?" Okay, so why would they move from Alaska to North Carolina, and then from North Carolina to Utah? Right? I mean, what was the why? What was what was the point? So I kind of wanna. This book is part of the why, and then the journey as well. And so I want to collect some memories right here, and some. Maybe some good and bad memories right here, right? So back to the now. And I did start this and I have a little video on that. I will I will go into this in a minute. But so today, so after all that, I uh I started going through my papers because one of my goals was I wanted to finish 2017. And basically these two I have I have a couple more pictures that are not 12 by 12 worthy. And then I have these. And are they 12 by 12 worthy? Was this at Disney World? No. Was it at Disneyland? No. Where was it? It was in uh, Jacksonville, North Carolina, at a movie theater where we were seeing, I even had to look it up because I couldn't remember which Star Wars movie it was, but it was uh, The Last Jedi. Were either of these characters in The Last Jedi? I don't know. There was a company that has these kind of characters, and they go around from theater to theater. You can even tell that there's some wear and tear on some of these guys, you know. Is this 12 by 12 page worthy? Only I can decide that, right? Only, only I can say, hey, yes, that's 12 by 12 worthy, or no, that is definitely not. And guess what I've decided? It's not. It is not 12 by 12 worthy. Oh, no. Now what do I do? Well... I am going to make a Hedwig book. Hedwig 2017, and this is in 2017. And I thought, well, I can throw a handful of things in, in that book besides just Hedwig, maybe. Or I can start one, or I can ignore it for right now and just, I don't know, stick it in with the 2018, even though it's not 12 by 12 worthy. And I haven't gone through my, my 2018 yet to see what is 12 by 12 worthy. So we're going to turn here, and I will, I'll show you what I did here first. So the first thing I did is I, well, I got out my, my uh, ticking and grain. This one's ticking, this one's grain, and I used ticking, and I put it on that platform, the stamping platform, and I used, and this is uh, Distress Oxide. So it has more pigment to it, so it would show up. And this was lav violet or lavender. Oh wow! Sorry, put it away. It's a it's a light purple. <laughs> but I also used a couple of dyes. So let me show you those. Okay, so I used this flower here, the pink one, on brushstroke flowers, and I cut it out multiple times. I, I cut it out in several different colors, and then I just stuffed all, you can see there's a piece there. All the pieces are, most of them are behind this white. Of, of all the different colors that I used, 
and then I used parts of them on this flower. And then I also used, I've shown you this before, this is by um, Pete Hughes. And, and notice, you know, the new one by him, he's got his name right there, but on this one, he just has the P. And this one is this piece right here. I've used this piece a lot. I really like it. I mean, this, this is a nice, this is a nice set. Um, I've, I've used every piece in there at least once, and, and this one in particular I've used multiple times. So, so I used my platform, and I um, put the color on the page. Then I also used, I think this is just called Dotted, and the number is uh, Tim Holtz uh, Stencil 006, so this is definitely one of his first. And this is some of the um, ground espresso. And this one, I did show in one of my last videos. This is the, the die for the um, file folder. And it would really be this size, only I did it so that the cutting edge, I folded and cut it through the two pages, and that the cutting edge was off of this so that it didn't cut it. So now it made it bigger. And now it's big enough. And I've got something I'm gonna put here. And I've got I've got my little writing that I'm gonna do here. I also wanna do another, I don't know whether I'll use this color. I definitely wanna do another piece of cardstock because I have something I'm gonna put here and here. And then probably here and here. So so that is the plan. And look at this. I got mail. This is old. In fact, it was a really reasonable price on Amazon. Um, I think this is from 2018 that, that he released this. But I've, I've thought about buying it many, many times and then never really come up with a reason why I would need to, I guess. But now I'm doing junk journals, and this is one of those things that he designed for junk journals. And this, let me, wait, where's my, where's my folder? Hold on. Oh, there it is. Okay. So what I was planning on doing is putting at least three of these. So this would be one. And then I, I need to do another piece of paper here because this is flimsy. And then another one there. And then possibly one on the back cover. Because, you know how they, they do uh, the whole, you know, this is how you see yourself dancing and it's something fabulous, but this is how you really dance and it's something awful, you know. Well, I wanna tuck little things in here of what I had imagined life would be like and then what life ended up being like. I had this vision of of someone just, you know, sitting on the beach with their with their back to the camera in one of those Adirondack chairs with a big floppy hat and um and just looking out onto the ocean and and that that would be my life. Well, what what reality was we we went to the beach a few times, but one of the times we went to the beach, I never drowned. We were just sitting there, minding my own business, doing my own thing, and a big wave came and pulled me off of the little berm that I was on and into the ocean. And I've, I've got arthritis in both knees, and um, I couldn't get up. My husband was trying to get me up, and I couldn't get up, and I thought, I'm dead. <laughs> that was like a metaphor, you know? I, I didn't have that that paradise experience. I had the, the ocean wants to kill me experience, you know? So, yeah. So I kind of want to do, you know, rainbows and unicorns and and roses and all these things. And, and the other one, you know, like animals eating everything I tried to grow. <laughs> Vermin. <laughs> and just... Uh, yeah, but I'll tell you one more thing. That's why I'm going to do a third one. I was going through my pictures trying to 
figure out, you know, some things I have to like create and some things I'm gonna have a photo of. But I came through and I realized that there were some unexpected wonderful things that happened too that I feel like I need to make sure that I acknowledge that, that though I didn't get what I had thought of, there were some other really wonderful things that happened too. And that's what this little book is gonna express. And I know, I mean, how, how, do, you, how do you put that into pictures and, um, and a little bit of writing and, you know, I mean, how, how do you do that? Well, I'm gonna try. So that is my first goal. Okay, so I went through my little bag. This doesn't need a big one. But I wanted to keep the two pieces together. I don't want, you know, the littler one falling out or whatever. So I will cut this and so it fits in there. It, it fits in there, but cutting it seems to make it fit a little better. Oh, but also notice that this came with a bag. I mean, came with a envelope already. So all I had to do was Put that on a little magnet and you notice there was no tape that I had to try to pull ah oh, sorry I keep hitting this tape that I was try having to pull to get this out nope nope no tape no uh, getting stabbed by my picky tool while I tried to pull things off of the tape yeah see Mr. Tim Holtz, he knows how to take care of us, right? So I'm grabbing, I'll go out here, this 12 by 12 paper. It is Tim Holtz. Um, I'm not sure what collection it's from. Because my front has purple on it, I really think that this little purple bit will be good. So I'm going to cut this, and then I'm going to cut my my die on it. So I'm going to use ground espresso on this and since you know watching people ink the sides of their pages is like watching grass grow, I will speed that up for ya. Mm -hmm. So it's a good thing I have my little wedge because I totally forgot that I want to leave some space open to uh, attach things on here, right? So I'm either going to use a paper clip, which I might, or I don't know, or just sort of tuck them in. I've seen, uh, I watched a number of YouTube videos where people use these and uh, they used all kinds of different things. One thing I just noticed, and I wish, well, maybe, maybe I can still do that. There's some stitching here, and I can maybe bring it out. My dryer is singing to me. Hmm. I'll show you what I'm thinking about doing. Okay, so I had ideas, <laughs> and oh, I pulled out a bunch of things. What did I do with them all? So I want to do rainbows and unicorns, right? So I have Winifred, and this is her basic shape. I'm just going to do like her head, so I will like curve that. And I was thinking, so I was thinking about using, and this is from Abstract Elements. But I was thinking about using the rainbow. And there's a, a few rainbows, so I was thinking about making a variety of different rainbows that I will tuck in different places, maybe with little tags, you know, and tuck them in. But I would think about putting her on an oval or whatever, because she'll be, she'll be a primary focus. And then I was thinking about using this as her unicorn. Thing and, and decorating it, probably doing it in uh, in watercolor paper and then decorating it. But I was also thinking, and, and 
and making her mane and pull her out so making her mane so i would i would do the oval like that and all of these like a different color but i was also thinking about adding some of this curly hair to her you know maybe some some curly hair to go with with this it reminds me of the oh, oh, oh i really think i like that it reminds me of the unicorn from um oh but there's this one also from inside out so maybe i would uh, i think i like the other hair better oh i don't know well, i will play around with it right so that is one of my thoughts so that's that doesn't go with that that goes with this so that would be Winifred, the unicorn. And then I already mentioned about the rainbows. And then I have some flowers that, um, these little bitty flowers, I'll grab those. And this is called Breaststroke Mini. And I thought I would tuck as many flowers in there as I could. You know, just little clusters. Again, maybe on tags, maybe circles. So. So that is my plan, and that's what I'm going to start doing tomorrow. I need to now put things away. <laughs> but uh, if you enjoyed this, please give it a big thumbs up and uh, hit that notification bell and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I enjoy spending time. You know, okay, I'm just going to say this, and this is very totally self you know, I, I'm just talking to my phone, right? But this, talking this out has is really helping me get my ideas put together. So y'all are helping me. And so thank you. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.